Good morning, T-Subs and T-Squad. So, girl, listen. After last night's episode of Chasing Dallas, Season 2, Episode 8, The Aftermath, I done finally made it up in my head. And see, the whole thing is I tried so hard not to go in on production and go in on ReCG because production have done a much, much, much better job than what they did last season. However, after what transpired in last night's episode production, I'm just letting y'all know right now, I don't give a flying hell about how y'all feel about me after this, because I'm about to just, just straight go in and let have. I don't know what kind of fake fuck shit the child I got going on back there in the background, but I'm not here for it. The sad part is, y'all ain't nothing but a YouTube-based reality show that only a handful of the gays are even watching at this point. Y'all are in a very small pool in a very small pond. Y'all are very small fish as it pertains to these real big syndicated reality TV shows. So for y'all to come up here with the type of antics that y'all came up here with last night, I'm not with it. I'm not feeling it. It ain't my judge. It ain't my cup of tea. It's really not. Like what I don't get is how y'all felt that it prudent enough to basically get somebody from the background to come up to the foreground, basically admitting that he's the reason why that whole fight took place. He's the reason why Trey Womack got it in his head to go out and pull out a Chicago typewriter from the trunk and rat a tat tat let rounds off in the air. So you mean to tell me somebody could have seriously gotten hurt and or shot because a production member CJ don't know how to just stay out of bull crap that has absolutely nothing to do with him. Let the beef, if there's going to be some, come organically and naturally. He just had to put his hand in it, help it along, sit, talk to these people, talk to these people, talk to that person, talk to that person. Oh, but don't tell Reese. I'm not here for that. And see, Reese, what I don't like that you did is you're going to sit up there and try to say, oh, because of the recordings that CJ gave me, I went on ahead and suspended him when he should have been fired. But then you're going to turn around and use said recordings basically exp to, to use against Trey Howard and Dior and this whole thing that you got against them uh, trying to make trying to make us believe, oh, this is why you don't see it for the both of them. Really? Really? But. For the sake of, you know, the viewers, because they love the reviews, I'm just going ahead and pretend like none of that that we just saw happen last night, and I'm just going to give it to y'all. The best that I got, baby. Okay, like, I, girl, I I'm going to try my hardest to get to give y'all, giving you the real tea, but Terrence really just came out at that point because, like, we already have to deal with fake, phony, and contrived nonsense on, on VH1 and Bravo, and then to sit up here and have to go through the same thing, contrived bull crap on YouTube, bitch, I know you lying to me, but Terrence, background, giving you the real tea, foreground, five, four, three, two... Make sure y'all continue to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell, become the notification gang gang. And if you really rock with my channel the way y'all say y'all do, please make sure to watch those ads, honey. Any videos that has ads on them that have ads playing, please make sure you watch them. Help contribute to the channel in that way. You can also contribute to the channel by donating to my PayPal as well as my cash app. I appreciate those that sprinkle, sprinkle here and sprinkle, sprinkle there. It definitely does not go unnoticed. Shout out to the people that have been buying merch. People are starting to buy my merch. I definitely appreciate that. So shout out to it. And if any of you all buy the merch, please make sure to take a picture of it when you get it and send it to me. And that way I can shout you out and put your face, beautiful face, with my beautiful creation right on up here to let all of the 11,000 T-subs see it. So the episode picks up where I left off at with the fight. Reese says that because Dior is like 40 years old, he was hopeful that he would settle the situation um, separately before now. 
Um, the producers make Dior, Trey Howard, and his crew leave, but they wouldn't leave. Womack starts shooting in the air and blah, 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 blah. Kane tells Trey Howard that he was wrong and that he also says Dior could have gotten his crew together and leave. Um, uh, I definitely get where he's coming from. Like, if this your family, you know, you queen mother, you head honcho, you the head HBIC in charge, then there's no reason why you couldn't have just told your crew, hey, listen, we ain't got no time to be sitting here fighting this boy with this man weave. He done already got his weave pulled out. He done already got a nut upside his head. And because of a situation that he started that would not have to be, had he just never hit nobody first. See, his mom ain't never told him. You don't go and hit nobody body first you let a bitch hit you and then you can consider that self-defense but whatever you know hey go on ahead get into the car we about to get out of here we are so above this we are so above everything like this show try to act like it is but obviously it's not when you got bitches in the background that's putting their hand and forcing all of these scenes to take place terrence it's terrence stop stop this ain't you right now terrence this is giving you the real tea stop Quit it. Anyway, starting over. I definitely get where my boo came was coming from. It's like Dior, at the end of the day, you the HBIC in charge, you mother. These are your kids. You need to have your kids on the lease and get them in check. And I'm just going to leave it at that because Terrence is starting to come back out. Kane says that they made fun of Womack wearing a man unit, but they share each other clothes, in particular the boots that Dior was wearing at Trey Howard's all-white event. Trey Howard was wearing the same boots at um, his party. Now, I, girl, I ain't even pay no attention to that. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not, but if it is, Kane, you's a fool. <laughs> and out of the whole episode, that piece of shade was hilarious. I was here for that shade. Reese uh, says that a conversation needs to be had, and unbeknownst to Reese, CJ, the CJ, one of the producers, had a private conversation with Dior and Trey Howard about scenes and how he solely orchestrated the fight. Production claimed that they didn't set it up. They said that Howard made the post, and Dior came there with boxing gloves on. Terrence, Terrence, stop. Stop. At the end of the day, whether he came there with boxing gloves on or not, they did not come for no fight. They did it. The only person that came there with any type of fight in their heart was Trey Howard, and he had every right to. I mean, he was told that Trey Womack said that the next time he see him, he going to slap him in his face. So the only person that came there ready for a rumble in the jungle was Trey Howard. Dior ain't had nothing to do with that. That's just the way that Trey Howard styled him. Like, I hate when people do that. Stop sitting here trying to use something subtle that somebody else did as an excuse as to why things turned out the way that they did. And I'm just going to let that alone because I feel like Terrence coming out right now and I don't want Terrence to come out right now. But what I absolutely hate is that nobody has yet to take Trey Womack to the mat about what he did. At the end of the day, so long as there was tongue wrestling, there was no shade. He was the one that decided to jump up, jump up and get beat down. Okay. That's what he decided to do. He decided to go out and wretch out for that wretch, not reach, wretch out for that boy, started fighting him, and that's how all of that got started. It's not as if Trey Howard or Dior or anybody from their, uh, anybody from their house, their family, whatever they want to be, wretched out for him. That's not what happened. So I'm just completely confused and bewildered why Reese and production is trying to sit here and make it seem as if they're the ones that started this whole thing. So y'all don't hold Trey Womack accountable for anything. And see, Reese, that's your doing, which is why I still feel you do not need to be up here on this show as an executive producer and being a cast member. Now, you want to hit me up asking me who the flying hell I want to interview next, bitch. I want to interview you because I have a lot of questions that I have to ask you, Reese, because up until now, I never had a reason to go in and let have on you. But uh, uh, Terrence wants to so bad. He wants to so bad. I'm trying not to. But bitch, you pushing it. Moving right on along. Dior invites Ariel, Markel, Trey Howard, Carrie D. Um, 
Trey Howard's boyfriend and his boyfriend to the all, all shucks sushi bar. Y'all know I'm allergic to seafood, so anything dealing with seafood is just ugh to me. But I'm going to let y'all have it. Baby, Ariel's Fendi outfit gave me bitch. Her outfit was the best part of this whole show, honey. One thing about it and two things for certain, baby. Ariel, let's go come up here dressing you bitches down. And I am all here for a baby she sent me. Go in and let have Ariel. Go in and let have. You know I love you, boo. Shout out. Dior comes two damn hours late. And Dior, that is rude as hell. I don't give a damn what kind of money that you was making. You don't sit there and have all of these people sitting up, waiting up for you on your time when you're the one that invited these people out because they could have been out doing other things, making money moves of their own. No, they sitting there dumb as hell for sitting there because, girl, I'd have pulled the king of more. Seven minutes, you not showed up. I would have left, but whatever. Dior comes two hours late saying that um he was making money. I talked about that, but he wanted to talk about what happened. Um... And basically, that's where that went at. But I will say this. I hope that won't your boyfriend. Because there's no way I'm sitting there outside windmilling hoes and he's just standing in the background. It's no way. It's no way. Like, Trey, please don't tell me that that's your man. Because if that is your man, you need to go on ahead and kick him to the curb. Like, he won't even that damn cute. No way. And then for him to sit there and say some dumb shit up out his mouth like that. Girl, I know you lying to me. Anyway, moving right on along. Kane meets up with Ariel and Reese G at, a, at Cafe Brazil to see how they were feeling since that fight. Um, Kane, I love that shirt. And I'm going to have to order that shirt. Do you 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 do two X's because you know I'm I'm a biggin. You understand me? Okay, I'm cute in the face and I'm thick in the waist, honey. I ain't fat. You know what I'm saying? I'm thick, baby. Do you got anything for us girls that's thicker than a snicker? Cause if so, I need one in every color. I was living for it. Um Reese says that CJ sent him a recording with Trey Howard saying Womack was fucking Reese. And Dior says that the family decided that they wasn't coming to the cash trip to New Orleans. And I don't blame Dior and them for not doing it. Myself, personally, I think all of them are just over it. They're over this narrative that Reese is trying to put out to them. And the sad part about it is, Reese, it bleeds all over the TV screen. It bleeds that your hand, you have a hand in this mess. And like you're pulling a Vashandia. You're pulling a Vashandia. That that's just the best way to announce it. You're pulling a Vashandia. You're doing the same thing for Shandia and Eveline and uh and um Laquisha with her ghetto Compton ass and Mickey Mickey Mouse Ratatouille face as Krista was trying to do as it pertains to OG and CC and, and Jennifer and Jackie. That's all that you're doing and it bleeds, girl. You need to. Uh, uh, anywho. Um, in the recording, CJ says that he got Womack jumped, but he claimed that he thought that they were just going to talk. Are you serious, CJ? After this boy done set up and gave all of these threats about how he was going to sit up and slap Trey Howard the next time he see him. Did you really honestly thought that th that whole thing won't going to be nothing but one big talking session and then they leave? Because I know had it been me, I wouldn't have came there to talk. I'm ready to get up, get out, and get me some because you're not going to sit up in here and threaten me to every damn body else but not threaten me to my face. No, ma'am. This is what I mean by Reese having her hand in all of this because I still have yet to hear anybody but Kane, but Kane, take Trey Womack to the mat for what it is that he did. How he never slapped that damn boy, windmilled that damn boy, kicked that boy, farted in his direction, or none of that. None of this situation would have never took place. And Dior, you need to come up off your shit too. You gonna set up a day and say he didn't mean he looked stuffed. He meant that the scene was stuffed because there was too many people in there. Like, that's something that you just came up with on the fly. And if that's the case, you don't know how to cheat, baby. Please don't try to cheat. Don't be no cheater because the only way you can cheat is to lie. And you obviously don't know how to do that. You are in the right perfection because you sure can't be no lie or you. Because had you used that in the criminal court of law, girl, you would have sent your client on up the green mile. But whatever. Um, everybody feels like Dior has yet to apologize for the part that he played in the situation. But I'm still confused as to what part that he played in the situation. 
I'm confused. And I'm starting to believe the only reason why Trey Howard even made that statement was probably because of something that CJ went back and told his ass. That's what I really think going on. I really believe that CJ went back and told Dior and Trey Howard, oh, because you know Womack really don't see it for y'all like that because yada, yada, yada. He got mad and he said, you know what, since that's how you feel, you want to smoke good, bitch, me too. And he made that damn post, which then fueled the fire for Trey Womack, which I'm not understand why, because I mean, sticks and stones could break your bones, but bitch, words should never hurt you at all. You too grown for that. But whatever, you got in your feelings, you got in your bag, and this was exactly what production was. See, I'm going to just end it. I'm going to end it because I, I'm, I'm, I'm really just about to go in and I have, and I don't want to do that. I already feel like I gave the production too damn much, but it just, I just feel like it has to be said. Like, whatever. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about tonight's episode. And if y'all really want to know how I feel about said situation, me, yes, well, it's hope. Yes, bitch TV will be interviewing Trey Howard tonight at eight o'clock. Um, I'm going to be on the panel. I'm more than sure. El Teddy is going to be on the panel. Ebby Reviews is going to be on the panel and really BTV is going to be on the panel. And there may be somebody else. I'm really not sure. I'm not the one hosting it. Yes, Bitch TV is. So definitely make sure to look out for that. For your, and, and, and if y'all really want to know how I feel about it, I'm going to go in a lot half on tonight's, um, on tonight's interview because it's just some things that have to be said. Um, shout out to everybody that also reviews this. My main Apple Scrapple, um, Scotty, aka Mr. Stale Standing. Shout out to Really B TV. Shout out to Ebby Reviews. Shout out to Yes Bitch TV. Shout out to my boo thing, L Teddy 27 Official. Shout out to the Cats Meow. And also shout out to Foy the Artist. Anybody who wants any channel art done, definitely hit up Foy the Artist. He does amazing work. I'm going to get him to design um, something new for the channel. And I'm also going to get him to design me some new merchandise. You know, I'm going to break him off a little. Scene. Definitely hit him up. Tell him I sent you. He gonna treat you right. I'm about to get off of here, edit this, and enjoy my day and get myself ready for this nasty interview tonight where I where I am gonna go in and I have on production as well as Reese G. I hope to see y'all there. Bye. I just woke up and I rolled up. I just woke up and I rolled up. Push that be my starter, kid. I just woke up and I rose.